Hello everyone, that's you tuning into today's per video. Go and have a look at the weather for this 10 14 days for today's per video. Day 10 will take us to the 8th of April and we'll be able to set up your map with the extended GFS ECM ensembles. Maybe once around a couple of weeks, we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video. But next four weeks gets us well into the second half of April. I'll guess I'm back for you in a moment. To say that first video and sales are 6 UK weather forecast. And we've also released the uh, first summer 2020. Seasonal model round. Check out those two bits. If you like to about, like, share, and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. No weekend forecast today. I'm running very late, and I've got a lot of uh, a lot to do today. Actually, I've got uh, the uh, next summer update and the Sunday roundup to sort out later on. No, I've run out of time really after a busy morning to uh, get the um, weekend forecast done this week. It will hopefully be back um, next week. I hope that's all right with everyone. All right, we're going to start off with the latest wind map from Earth from Nordschool.net. Low pressure dominating in the Atlantic, close to Ireland, and our weather system uh, out to the north and the west as well. No, we're still in a bit of an Atlantic driven flow, but high pressure down around the Azores. We'll be going in uh, that direction into next week and bringing a lot of dry and warm weather with it. And uh, the central temperature is currently sitting at 7.8. That's over 2 degrees above 61 to 99 average. is provisional to yesterday to the uh, 28th of March, turning into a very mild bump. These were GFS, upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles. We're at Newcastle upon time today, red line. Is the 30 year average for Newcastle? We're starting off about average at the moment, but upper air temperatures will be lifting up in the course of next week. An extended spell of uh, warm weather to take us through the first week of April. Bit of a cooling trend late on towards the middle part of the month. That's a very long way off, and it uh, is therefore um, reliable precipitation wise. Well, check this out. It looks completely dry, uh, actually, up to about the 8th or 9th of April. And even after then, in the extended range, there's only a few precipitation spikes coming through. So it's looking like a very dry and also uh, a very warm first 10 days to April. Blimey. Temperature normally is it's five days, taking us up to the 3rd of April above average. Six to 10 day temperature anomaly to the 8th of April, significantly above average. And the 10th of 14 day temperature anomaly also looking uh, warm. That gets us to the uh, uh, that gets us to the 12th of April. And as far as the precipitation anomaly is concerned, the next seven days so it's a bit of April drier than normal 8 to 14 day also looking dry as well right well let's start going through the all important chart data we sell latest uk met euro run it's looking midnight on tuesday high pressure dominating weather bringing lots of dry fight weather with it right the way through next week high pressure eventually eases up towards scandinavia and brings the wind around past a slightly cooler northeast direction but next week looking mostly dry and pretty warm as well for a bunch of time chilly nights but uh, warm days classic sort of spring weather really and uh, Icon looks like that again. High pressure dominates the weather throughout next week. Lots and lots of dry weather with that. Plenty of sunshine uh, as well. It doesn't get better if you want warm and dry spring weather. And uh, the KMA again show that high pressure well and truly in control and in the ascendant series. An attempt there around 7th, 8th of April to start building some high pressure around Iceland, but uh, nothing really comes of that. We just stick under the high pressure. And again, the prolonged dry spell therefore will continue. But GFS midnight run, all much of a muchness for Tuesday. High pressure is dominating the weather and it stays in control throughout next week. Next weekend could see some showery conditions down to the south and the southwest, but really it's a case of high pressure in the essentially up to day 10. And even beyond that, you know, plenty of ridge. There might be short interruptions of rather showery conditions, but overall plenty of ridge and plenty of high pressure domination all the way up to the 14th of April. And the GFS 6Z uh, again showing high pressure in control and the, in the ascendancy up to day 10. 
And uh, even beyond that, high pressure dominates until the very end, which gets to the 12th of April. Then there is a change, low pressure started to head in from the Atlantic, turning cooler and more unsettled there up towards the middle part of the month. That's a very, very, very long way off. It's like beyond uh, 10 days away, and I would be quite dubious about that, given that April a couple of weeks ago was supposedly starting uh, on a cool and uh, unsettled note. So, you know, it's pushed it back by about 10 to 12, <laughs> 10 to 12 days compared to uh, a few days ago. Uh, just say that if you're enjoying the video, please like, share, subscribe, make sure to show up on full DMA, and drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos, content, live streams, etc, 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 don't forget to tell your friends about down below, get to subscribe to, and thank you so much everyone uh, for doing that, and if you could consider giving a little donation to Gals, well, this to uh, help pay for the channel, and help me to be able to do this for everyone, then uh, that would be absolutely awesome, thank you so much everyone, the link to our PayPal uh, page is in the description, with a video, we'll give you a shout out in the video, if you want one, if you give a donation. Thank you so much, everyone. Right, GM, again, high pressure dominating the weather on uh, Tuesday. And it's still into Charles with Wednesday, Thursday, and indeed into Friday as well. Loads of dry and fine weather lasting into next weekend. All the way up to day 10, uh, we're high and dry then. And then the ECM uh, rounding all our forward chart data. High pressure remains in control uh, through next week. Will be some very warm weather around the middle part of the week, perhaps a bit cooler towards the end of next week. Winds in from slightly more of an east to north east direction, but you know, it's just trying to find something to talk about, really. <laughs> Basically, high pressure is uh, dominating all the way up to day 10, and uh, beyond that, this large anti cyclone uh, remains in control to the end of the East Gem run, gets us to the 13th of April. You know, there's absolutely no sign of any tropospheric response to the SSW, it's looking increasingly like we are not going to have a chopper, a chopper spirit response to the uh, major sudden stratospheric warming event that occurred uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's a bit early to say that, so perhaps leave it another week before we uh, completely write it off. But uh, at the moment, there's absolutely no sign within any of the model output of a tropospheric response to that uh, SSW. And of course, you don't always get a tropospheric response, that is something that we've been saying, you know, throughout monitoring the SSW that uh, you don't always get a tropospheric response to a sun transfer warming event. This is looking increasingly like an SSW that will not have a response in the chop, but we'll see. Uh, right, precipitation forecast based on the East End run from Tibetan.com. Again, lots and lots of dry weather to come. Oh, uh, we'll uh, go go past that <laughs> quite quickly, uh, I think. Right, well, these are the ups on the table. Then the ECM ensembles today at 4 day 10 from the ISA Met Ops. Guess it's to the 8th of April. Uh, 16 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure ridging through the north and west Europe. Lots of dry and fine weather. That 14, can we control the operation run a little bit more to the north with high pressure? Might allow something a bit cooler come in from the north east by day 10 but the um, real story will be the dry uh, ongoing dry conditions number 14 with high pressure again around uh, Iceland and again around that we bring lots of dry and fine weather and then seven high pressure focus around Greenland low pressure to the east and also to the south. So below to south, trying to bring wet weather in there. Below to north east, trying to pull down a uh, northern wind as well. So a little bit different with that. We're a little bit cold, a little bit more unsettled with that. But otherwise, high pressure is uh, dominating at day 10. And then until we tie, these are the options that we've got. It'll go to the 13th of April. 17 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure in the Atlantic, low pressure in Scandinavia. Winds coming in from a cooler north or northeast direction. We've got 14 with low pressure to uh, east high pressure out to the west, bringing down a uh, rather chilly uh, and showery northerly wind there. So that could be quite cold and uh, a little bit on the wintry side. Bear in mind it's the middle of April, so not going to be that wintry. But I mean, you can still get uh, wintry conditions in the middle of April. 12 with high pressure to the southwest. That's going to be mostly dry and should be quite mild. Bring the wind up from the southwest. And then 8 unleashing the Atlantic. No, obviously that's going to be relatively mild, but will be quite unsettled. So high pressure, 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 high pressure at day 10. And then at day 14, a, a range of options. We might turn things cooler and a little bit on wind. Side. We might keep things relatively dry and mild, or we might unleash the Atlantic. All options there uh, telling us that it's all to play for by mid-month. 
And uh, Chef SB2 finally beats a 500 millibar high tolerance, breaking down weak periods. The first week period takes us from the 29th of uh, March to 4th of April. High pressure in the ascendancy, bringing lots of dry conditions in the weekend. Week 2, showing that high pressure going nowhere fast. It's the 5th to the 11th of April, right over top, potentially with the high. And then week 3 will be the 12th to the 18th of April. A very good chop of low pressure building to the northeast, combined with the mid-Atlantic race. That might start to turn a little bit more unsettled and somewhat cooler as well. And then uh, week four is the 19th to 25th of April. Again, Mid-Atlantic Ridge is a send up towards Greenland. Trough of low pressure. <coughs> so sorry. One trough of low pressure through Western Europe. And check out the jet stream as well going uh, away to the south. So that turns perhaps increasingly cool, maybe quite cold and unsettled. But again, uh, this is what we're expecting for the early part of April. Being pushed back toward the second half of the month now. So whether we ever get to that remains to be seen. That could be a chop of straight response to the strap war with that mid-Atlantic ridge going up towards Greenland. But again, you know, it's being pushed back, pushed back. It never seems to get any closer. So let's wait and see. Um, and uh, time will tell. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Make sure you're forward to that. And drop a comment let us know nothing about this and all of our videos, content, live streams, etc. 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 And don't forget to tell your friends about it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to you. Thanks for doing that. About 90 subscribers gets us to, well, 88 to uh, 90 subscribers gets us to um, 19.7k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be awesome. Thanks so much. And again, if you can consider making a little donation to guys, whether it's that would be absolutely awesome and very helpful as well. Right, tomorrow we're going to 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We will also have the latest summer update. Are we up to update number four, update number five? I lose count. But I'll check that before I record, obviously. Um, and uh, we've got the March Sunday Roundup coming up for you uh, tomorrow as well. So every day of content. I mean, I think we we'll live at half six. So not an hour stream tomorrow, but probably a half hour stream, half six to seven. Um, and a live 10 to 14 day. So uh, that'll be uh, an interesting watch. Hopefully, hopefully, <laughs> hope, you know, it's up to you. Uh, but I think it'll be an interesting watch at six thirty. Anyway, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. It's a lovely day uh, today, where I am in my tunnels. I know it's not as good as this further north, though. But anyway, you enjoy the rest of your Saturday. We'll end it there for uh, this video. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.